Hello there, Master Hellish here, and welcome back to my open TTD play Let's Play. This week I am on my own, uh, just getting around and getting stuff done a little bit, doing a lot of converting. Um, last time with the guys we managed to get a lot of the uh, Prongfing Field network uh, done. However, uh, we couldn't do the main line. We just didn't have enough money to convert all these trains and all this track. Uh, I'm trying to work on that at the minute, um, but I've managed to do pretty much all the Rumfrin Pool node. Uh, the only things I've got to do now is put the food trains back. So let's get some food trains up and running. So new vehicles, Millennium Edition, and food van. Now I'm going to just put two food vans on there for now, and we'll expand them later on if we can. I'm going to get them refitted for food. 72 tons, there we go. I'm going to go to this node here. Uh, I'm going to not put it on full load. Uh, we're just going to take whatever's there and we're going to go to Rangley. So go to Rangley, there we go. So now that train's all ready to roll and ready to go, I'm going to control clone him to get his mate out there and then I'm going to not control clone to get a new train. Now this one that isn't control cloned, his orders aren't shared, so I'm able to get rid of Rangley off the list and tell him to go to Laughing Hill instead. There we go. And then what I'm going to do is control clone that one. So we've got two lots of shared orders separately. And they're done. That's it. As easy as that. That's how shared orders and cloning makes doing trains really easy. Built one, four gone. And I think that is about it, actually, at the minute, in terms of uh, upgrading the trains. Um, so not a hell of a lot more to do on this side of the network. Now I'm going to convert the uh, this up here, the uh, the northeast southwest, the compass points. Um, but I, I feel that we need to uh, probably put a board around it at some point, and maybe a bit of a bit of uh, road around the whole thing. So let's let's just do that now. Nice little border. Oops, let's hold shift so I don't place that. Uh, we're going to put a gap in there. And all the way up to here and there. There we go. Nice little board around it. Um, bit of roads. I like a bit of road every now and then. We went, we went mad on roads for one subscriber game. Um, right, now let's see how those new trains are doing going to uh, Drunning Food East. Uh, what we're going to do is rename this station. We're going to do. St I'm going to start renaming some of these stations because we're going to make them more applicable. So um, we're going to actually get this to be Drillingford Factory because it's dedicated a station for the factory. Uh, there we go. Drillingford Factory. Uh, and there's a bank up here which I accidentally clicked on. There's two banks right next to each other as well. Never mind. Uh, so these trains aren't... Ca wow! That one cashed in quite a lot. I mean, these trains... Uh, 282,000 in one journey. That is fantastic. Now, they should be stacking up a little bit. Yeah, they are, because we're waiting for this to produce lots of stuff. So, uh, 250 times... Now, I wonder if I plant trees around here, whether that'll help. Somebody said plant trees, it'll help. I'm not 100% sure it will. Uh, let's do it anyway. There we go. I planted a load of trees. It's on 73%. It is going up now. The amount of tons of wood that we have there isn't really changing at the moment. No? Maybe? Not sure. Uh, well, it's not going up in production. It's just kind of carrying on in production by the looks of it. So... Let's uh, just leave it on its way. Now, this train here is currently on just about minus 2,000. So we're going to take 2,000 off its total. We're going to watch him uh, as he goes on his journey there. So I'll pop him up in the corner so we can keep an eye on him. And remember, if you're finding it difficult to see the smaller things on this screen, it is available in full HD, so you can... Uh, view it in full screen in full HD and you should be able to see everything perfectly fine uh, when version 1.5 comes out of beta and actually gets released there's a function to make this 
uh, gooey uh, bigger, which I will be using to make things even easier. Now, what we got here? That's a rubber plantation. Don't care about them. Well, I, I, I could send it to the factory. I'm just not going to. So these trains here are, uh, are handling this wood a lot quicker than it was previously. We're just about to go in, under Rumfroom Pool itself. Uh, there's some fruit here right on this on this junction. I, I kind of want to get involved because it's quite near uh, the, this uh, section here. If I put a... Then the problem is a junction takes up three pieces of lights. Uh, so if I do that, there wouldn't really be a good enough gap. I don't know. I kind of, kind of need it right round where Wunfrim Pool is. Um, oh, I forgot to change the name of this place. I really wanted to change the name of it. So instead of Wunfrim Pool East, uh, rename it's Wunfrim Pool, and we're going to call it uh, FPP for the food processing plant. There we go. Uh, and that train is already nearly at the factory. That's how awesome these uh, monorails are. And this is one of the reasons why I started putting in these long routes in the first place. There he is, forcing him to go into that depot there. 75% reliability at the moment. He did actually just break down, which is a bit of a shame. Uh, but never mind. He, he, he nearly got to the depot in time. And yeah, there we go. He's heading in. So back up to 80%, so there's not a massive drop. We could probably do with some depots on the way, but never mind. A little bit slow heading into the station, but that last bit of slowness doesn't matter too much. It's not as if we're clogging up the place. Unloading now. And what we're going to get, we started at minus 2,000. 288,000. So from that journey... 290,000 ish we got there fantastic and those trains now they're settling down will be making us a nice little spot of money I should think um, yeah 280 odd thousand for every trip uh, some of them made it last year some of them didn't so we got two trains that made the trip last year we've got two trains that made the trip this year uh, I just don't think we can keep up with the supply of wood now uh, let's check to see if the wood has increased at all. It hasn't. It's actually gone down a little bit. Um, so I'm not really sure about that. We've got a new farm. We have a new farm. Uh, that has literally just gone in. Um, and I really want to get that hooked up. So let's get rid of that. I don't think we're going to need all of these six trains that we did before. I'm going to get rid of one of them. We're going to get rid of train 92 here. We'll send it to this depot. There we go. Um, and we're going to get rid of it. Because six is definitely too many. There we go. Right. Oh, right. So we have some maize to bring in, do we? Um, I'm going to cheat a little. Oh, what, what? oh, yeah, there's a UFO here. And that's why we're missing signals. Let's just put that back like that. Now, I know this is the main line, and I know um, I could actually spur it off here. Yes, that is what I'm going to do. We've got the money to do it. So, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just bring this down a little bit like that. Oh, the antenna. Nuts. Okay, I'll see if I can work around that. Let's get the auto tool. Right after that signal, we're going to do this. And I'm also just going to quickly take out a couple of trees here. There we go. Zoom in a little bit more. A for auto tool and E for land leveling tool. There we go. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just bring these two into a station near here. So I'm just going to do kind of a, a little bit there like that. Kind of want that to be five, um, at least. So then we'll do it. We'll do it six. Then we'll bring it diagonally. That will do there, and then I will bring it this way. There. Why? Why not? <laughs> That's a little bit weird, but it, it works. Uh, let's get a. Uh, Two tracks at length, or oh, two or more. 
Oh, it's only maze, isn't it? So two will do. Platform length five. Five was correct. Um, let's make it as short as possible. Probably there. No, I need a little bit of space for a junction. So it's going to have to go there, I think. Here we go. So let's put that junction in here. Like, Oh, actually, it, it could have gone one more further, I think. Yeah, it could go one more further. So I'm just going to quickly take that out, put it back in. There we go. A for auto tool again. There we go. Just connect these up. And some signals as well should be in order. So in, out, uh, and then... Oh no, wrong kind of signal. Did I do the right kind of signal down here? Uh, it appears so. I don't know where this double signal came from though. So let's just remove... Oh, we've got a different spacing on the signals now. Oh well, never mind. Let's... Uh, just put those two back in there. It's these kind of signals going here, and the reason why we put those kind in is because we need the trains to be able to actually go in the back. There we go. Now let's just get the land leveling tool. Room for a depot, that's what we need. There we go. We're not going to force a depot in here uh, because we've got a force depot on the way back there. So this is just an optional depot. There we go. Now we want some maze trains, so I'm going to clone. Uh, this one here, why not? And it's fairly close. And we're going to have two going back. So for crying out loud, more flipping UFOs. Um. Oh, it's all the way down here. Look at it, right at the bottom of the map. Um. But where's all that fruit going? Oh, there's a food processing plant right there in the corner. Didn't see that. Right, never mind. Uh, back up to the top <laughs> where I was doing stuff. Um, yes, yeah, so we're getting trains in. There's there's one train there. We've cloned it in. I'm going to make sure it's refitted to maze. Let's refit that. No, it already is. Good. Just double checking. Uh, and then we need to change the orders. Let's delete that top order and change it with this one. There we go. I am going to have this one on full load though, so let's highlight it and full load. Fantastic. And we're going to clone it. So we're going to control clone the train like that. So we've got two of them on the go. Oh, what fruit plantation is that? Oh, it's oh, it's a rubber plantation. That's fine. Don't care about rubber. Um, and we'll get them going, both of them. There we go. On the way. And they're going the wrong way. Um, never mind. We'll, we'll let them go the wrong way. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter in the slightest. They're just out of interest. How much is this producing? 99 tons of maize. That's not too bad. Now, we've got a flat area over here, and we've got a flat area here, and we've got a flat area here. So I feel the need to actually bring those flat areas together. There we go. Why not? Um, let's just strip that hill back there a little bit. And what we've got here, we've got a tunnel, so we could probably take this tunnel out a little bit. But we've got a, this antenna which causes us some problems, so we're going to leave that in there. So that's uh, that bit of hillside's all fine. And I'm going to take this little bit out here and kind of bring it up, uh, bring that out, and just kind of leave it like that. Um, just to do a little bit of landscaping. Uh, this little hill has to stay there. Uh, let's get rid of this little hill. Oh, no, I didn't mean to put more hill in. There we go. Just to neaten things off a little bit. There we go. That looks terrible right now, but that will all grow back quite nicely. And in fact, we can help it a little bit by planting some trees. It was a very tree-like area. Um, so let's just do a few trees here and there. And the rest of that should grow, and the maze area will grow, and everything should be fantastic. Uh, and we'll keep an eye on the amount of maze that this place is producing. At the minute, it's 99 tons with only 31% transported. It would be nice to go a little bit more than that, but never mind. 
So that's some more maize. Brilliant. Uh, what's this over? That's there's some fruit over here. I'm not sure I'm going to go all the way out there to get that fruit though at this time. Uh, looking pretty good. Just making sure everything is in spot on working order. That. Uh, oh, hang on. We've got another. Oh, it's a rubber plantation. Don't really care about that. So everything seems to be going okay here at the minute. Laughing Hill, are you getting... F yes, water and food growing every 50 days. That is what I like to hear. Um, oh, look. Uh, a food pressing plant. A new one. Never mind. And I think we've got a little bit... Of, yeah, we've got 2 million now. I have been spending quite a lot. We're going to convert some of this. Uh, we're going to convert this track up to these bridges here. And then I think we'll convert the bridges as well. There we go. And up to there. Good. Now, we have trains that go right up to this corner, but not actually past it. So we're going to convert that as well. So let's just go along here like that. There we go. Now, all this over here is already monorail. And there we have it. Um, I just want to check that these bridges can't be a lot better than what they are. Um, we can do tubular silicon. Uh, yes, we'll have tubular silicon. That will make that will not slow down the track. What's the maximum speed? Six hundred and something odd kilometers an hour. That is really quite good. There we go. That's going to future proof us for a while. I don't think we've got any more bridges on this. Oh, well, we have these bridges over here, but well, they can actually be improved. But I don't think those trains get slowed down by those ones, so that's fine. Uh, what about this one? Yeah, that one can be upgraded just a little bit. Why not? These longer ones, why not? There we go. Uh, oh, all these ones over here that are crossing the main line, that definitely needs to be upgraded. That one can be as well. Uh, that one probably should be in all. There we go. And there's going to be... Is there some over here? No, those are already tubular steel, so that's fine. And there's no bridges here. We used tunnels, so that's good as well. Right, so uh, that is getting pretty much it. I don't think we've got anywhere on the map now that standard trains, apart from just this section here between Benfing Way and uh, the uh, Chedham factory. Now, um, even the actual freight network in Chedham is all now monorail, so that's good. Let's do some checking, making sure everything is monorail that can be at the moment. So... Let's go around here, look to the north. We used to have some stuff around here, but we don't anymore. That's all monorail. That's all monorail. Yep, all monorail around here in the uh, Rumfring Pool node. Uh, monorail down here too. Yep, all these little side spur parts down here are monorail. Um, all this node here, the uh, Gone Head network that Mark Isle built uh, is... Uh, all monorail too, and that's the whole. That's the whole map. Everything is monorail apart from this main section in the uh, Chedham network, um, and it's all going to have to go at the same time because it's all inter interlinked completely and utterly, which is a bit of a shame. Uh, I'd like to have done this bit in stages, um, but I don't think there is any part of it that I could do in stages at all. Um, so what we'll do, next week we'll meet up with the guys and hopefully I can get two of the guys online and we'll just... Oh my goodness, we have a problem. Uh, I was worried that this might happen. So uh, what I'm going to do... Oh, that's a 90 degree turn. Oh, we're going to have to take out this track temporarily. I was worried that this might happen. I don't know how, I don't know why, but it has happened. There we go. That'll fix it. Let's just double check they haven't done the same down here. Um, what, why would that have happened? Let's just check their orders and see what they are. No, not, not their details, their orders. There we go. 
Okay, so they're going to Binwell East and then run for Impole. Is there just like some sort of signal combination that stops them from going that way or something? Yes. Yes, there is. And you know what? I had this in the comments and I must apologise. I knew that you guys told me about this and I've been meaning to fix it. That signal there is stopping those guys from heading down uh, to the east. Uh, the trains would be coming in and having to go this way and go the long way around. That's why they were there in the first place. And that's why they've not been working very well at all. Um, what a shame. I'm sorry. I really meant to fix that earlier. I, I know you told me about it. Uh, and I immediately apologise now. There we go. So we shouldn't have a problem now. Uh, now I fix that sick. Oh, I was so. How did I forget? I had in my mind when I started the episode that I needed to fix that little signal, um, and it's caused those true trains so much problems. In fact, what I might do is just because they've had to sit there for ages and they're at zero percent reliability, I'm going to clone them, and we're going to get rid of them. So we're going to um, clone, clone, go go and then we're just going to get delete these two uh, and I'm going to put a new depot in for them to delete themselves so if I get rid of the, that there there we go I'm going to tell you to go to a depot and we're going to tell you to go to a depot as well now I don't do a lot of fast forwarding in this series but I do want these two trains just to get in here so I'm just going to fast forward it just for a little while until they've got in there. We're not going to be sat watching them all day. Because this is going at a, quite a speed. Right. And let's delete them. There we go. Oh dear. Now my question is. Why did I do that where a signal is? Because now I have to put that signal back. There we go. Well. There we go. Um, so. We have the whole of the eastern node. The Rumford and Paul node. All running on... Uh, Monorail now. Look at these little food trains zipping along like nobody's business. They'll be going backwards and forwards, moving these small, uh, moving small amounts of food all the time. And um, let's see how much of that food is transported. Seventy-eight percent apparently is transported at the moment. This town over here uh, won't be receiving water anymore, but food is going to be marked as delivered. Uh, probably going to put another van on each of those uh, food trains soon. But the, the extra speed that we get from monorail and the extra... And now somebody did ask, it? why don't you just upgrade straight to maglev? And in some games you can do that when you're going from electric trains to maglev. But this, uh, this uh, uh, environment, I think it's the tropical one, doesn't have electrified railways. Look, there you are. You've got railway construction and then straight to monorail. So it means that your diesel trains get old, they get slow, they break down, lots and lots and lots, and you wouldn't be able to get to Maglev. See, look, at the moment, Maglev is not available. And if I go to trains and go to available trains and just had a look here, and look, we've only got one diesel left, and it's 48% reliable. That's terrible. You don't want to be using a train like that. Your network becomes slow, it becomes clunky, everything. You, you, you lose money. Uh, you, could, you can really get a horrible network. Yes, I've invested millions in upgrading, and yes, we're going to have to upgrade again. But these these um, wood trains, for example, were making, I think, about 80,000 80, per trip or something, I'm not sure. They're making, like, triple that now because of the speeds that they're going down this main line. And you can tell that because I've had to actually get rid of two. Uh, well, I've got rid of one already. I'm going to get rid of another one. Uh, we don't need that many there. Uh, so, yes, that is why on this game we have... Uh, dis uh, elected to actually go for monorail. Uh, yeah, mon monorail. Uh, and we will be we will be going to maglev. Uh, we will be doing maglev. Um, but that's it for now. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've uh, enjoyed the episode. Um, and just before we finish the episode, I'm going to do a game giveaway. So uh, for this particular game giveaway. Um, to enter, you need to put a comment uh, down below in the comments section. And that comment can be anything you like. It can be a question, it can be a piece of advice, it can just be saying hello or whether you like my videos or not. And um, 
you know, anything you like, but at the end of your comment, you I want you to put three plus signs, the mathematical plus symbol. So if you put three of those at the end, I will know that you want to enter the competition. Uh, the first 100 people to put a, chem a comment with a plus sign will be entered into the competition. Somewhere after seven days, I will pick a winner. So you've got at least seven days to from when this video was launched. Um, I will pick a winner. And what I'll do is I'll randomly select one person from those first 100 people that put three plus symbols at the end of their comment. And I will send you the game code through the YouTube messaging system. The game that you are going for in this particular one is an early access code for the game Over 9,000 Zombies. And that's a game called Over 9,000 Zombies. It's an early access. Uh, normally you do have to buy it, but I, I have got a code for you um, to give away today. So, like I said, hope you've enjoyed the episode. If you want to actually know in which episodes I'm doing game giveaways, because I don't just do it in my open TTD ones, I do it in all my other uh, series as well, uh, then get onto my Facebook and Twitter, because I do announce which ones of my episodes are going to be uh, having game giveaways in. And also, uh, you also get uh, exclusive videos uh, on my Facebook and uh, Twitter as well. I think I'm on Tumblr. I don't really know. <laughs> uh, and you can follow, follow me on Google Plus if you really please, but it's pretty much just the same as my YouTube. Uh, but there we go. A game giveaway. First 100 people with plus signs will go into a draw at, le uh, at least seven days away, and one random winner will win a copy of over 9,000 zombies. That's all from me for now. Thank you very much for watching, and until I see you next time, goodbye. <laughs>